Hello, my name is Tatiana Trikova. I'm a divorce financial analyst from Fair Split, and welcome to my course. But first, couple important disclaimers. If you are a victim of domestic abuse or any kind of physical violence, your life is in danger, your health is in danger, and the life and health of your children is in danger, please call 911 immediately. You don't need to prepare for your separation and divorce at this point. You don't have time for this. And you don't need a family lawyer to call police. Please take care of your safety first. The second disclaimer is that no part of this course represents legal, financial, or any kind of accounting advice. For this, please contact your family lawyer, your accountant, your financial advisor for the advice specific to your situation. The main purpose of this course is not to tell you how to separate and divorce, how to get more money from your spouse or pay less. The purpose of this call is to get ready, to prepare your documents, to organize your thoughts and be at the top of your game with your numbers, with your dates, with your priorities. And at the very end of this course, at the lesson 18, I will show you how to build your divorce team. But before, let me give you a tour around the course. I have created 18 lessons in total, including this one, the introduction. And the course could be divided into four parts. The first one is preparation. Yeah, exactly, preparation. And you may think, Tatiana, preparation for preparation. Yes, you need to set the scene. You have to be in the right mood and I want you to have the right thoughts before you do this course. The second part is data organizing. In the lesson five, I will teach you organizing techniques. And if you disregard everything else, at least please adopt one. You need to have your divorce binder, a binder where you will have your most recent orders, agreements, your priorities, your high level financials, not every single piece of document, but just the high level of the documents. And I want you to create this binder right in the, at the beginning of this course in the lesson five, so that everything that you create during the course, you will file into this binder. Lesson six will be about connecting the dots of your personal history. Where were you born? When were you born? When did you get married? When did you start living together? You need to align all this on one page. It's so much easier to walk with a file that you have all your dates at your fingertips. Lesson eight, and yes, lesson eight, it's a little bit of a misconsequence here because uh, the flow is that I'd like you to learn lesson seven, but in, fee, but in nature, lesson eight is more about data organizing and lesson seven is more about number crunching. That's why I switch them around just on this course map doesn't really matter which one you take first. Maybe if you don't have spousal support issues, you would not even take lesson eight. But yes, spousal support fact sheet, lesson eight. I want you to reflect on your marriage and your life and map all the important information on the fact sheet so that your lawyer can take a look at your resume and your spouse's resume, kind of, and see how if there is an entitlement for spousal support before you get to any numbers. This is why I put lesson eight into a second section because it's more about data gathering than number crunching. Next section, number crunching. Children issues, lesson seven. I like to address children's financial needs first. Well, first of all, children come first in any, any separation. But it's also more practical. You address all the numbers for children needs before you go to your personal budgets. Because your personal budget will ask you about children's clothing, summer camps, school fees. So it will be so much easier if that piece is already done. And then you can just focus on your personal needs in the lesson nine. And if you need it to be done a bit more forensic, that will be lesson 10. So lessons nine and 10, 
personal budgets. Lesson 11 is about post-separation date transactions. In many cases I'm dealing with when people don't track their expenses. They think that the time period from the date of separation to the date of signing their separation agreement doesn't really matter. It actually does matter. And tracking your transactions from the premise that you are no longer one piece, you are no longer a family, tracking these transactions is hugely important and it's tedious, it's cumbersome uh, if you have to do it retroactively. If you start uh, doing this from month one, it's not that difficult and my goal is to show you how to get organized and calculate different buckets of expenses separately. Lesson 12 is about property. I have subdivided this lesson into three smaller lessons because it, otherwise it would be overwhelming. So you will see sub-lesson 12.1, 12.2 and 12.3 all about net worth, all about property. You will need to learn what is NFP and what it stands for and what is the high level, what is the rationale of NFP calculation, what is this court document that reflects NFP calculation, which is Form 13.1, and what kind of work you have to do before you complete Form 13.1. That's the whole point of this lesson, to explain you why am I so adamant when it comes to network statement in Excel spreadsheet. You can't do the form completion without crunching your numbers on some kind of a side document. And of course, I'm giving you the samples and templates that I am using in my practice. Lesson 13 is about household content. Household content, in my opinion, is the most underestimated, underattended issue in divorce. People usually don't pay much attention, who gets chairs, mattresses, and pots and pans. And it's true, I agree with the fact that let's not make more let's not make the case more complicated, let's not create more drama, because you have a lot to deal with. But nevertheless, it makes me sometimes sick and tired to see somebody who is moving out with nothing and no adjustment for the new content that this person will have to purchase all over again. I find it a bit unfair. So lesson 13 is about my strategy, how to address this. Now when you're in the right mood, you've organized your dates, you crunched your numbers and you're ready to do a bit of strategizing. I'm again not telling you how to do your separation and divorce, but I'm just telling you that you can peek into the future a little bit and think what is important for you. And you won't be able to do this at the very first stage of preparation because you just don't know your numbers, you don't know your tax situation, some people don't even know their mortgage interest. So once you completed all this work, it is easy to move to the priority and strategy and I think it's the most uh, interesting section of the course. Lesson 14 will teach you to map your financial issues in such a way that you have one page and all your problems mapped around. This will allow you to connect the dots and to see what is influencing what and sometimes you can find the parent problem, not the parent problem like parent parent but the main problem and subordinate issues that are linked in such a way that once you resolve the main problem everything else falls into place. Now when you know your expenses, your dates, your financial problems in the rank of importance, you are ready to narrow down your issues into your priorities and lesson 15 is about top three of the top three and those three are children, property and spousal support. Now couples that have no children or their children um, or their children are self-sufficient would need to deal with children as a priority at all. I see less and less of those people though and those couples that don't have spousal support issue would not have spousal support priority at all and they would only have to focus on property division. So you have three uh, priorities and within each you can identify what is the what are the top three important things and maybe you can even create two versions of this um, template, needs list, something that is absolutely non-negotiable to you 
and your wish list that something that you'd like to get but you're prepared to make some concessions now we are the final part of the final part those three lessons are about action plan like how how do you start the process and lesson 16 in a way is a bit of a repetition of lesson three that is reintroducing six ways to part those six different options you have when you are separating from your spouse and the difference is that in lesson 16 i'm introducing a template that i'm using where you can start scoring and ranking different processes not lawyers but processes what are pros of mediation but cons of mediation what is pros of collaborative but maybe con cons of collaborative etc lesson 17 is all about resources that you have available and yes i allow you to take this lesson uh, right after this introduction because it will introduce you to resources that you may not be aware of i wish i knew about them when i was going through my process i, I am still learning something new and uh, good luck uh, this lesson 17 will save you tons of money now with then everything is complete it will be logical to start building your team and lesson 18 will uh, somewhat rehash lesson four uh, by reintroducing that divorce is not just about legal issues you may not just need a lawyer i really urge you to compartmentalize your needs and use different professionals and your divorce team may be a lawyer and an accountant for example but your divorce team may be a babysitter a hairdresser a divorce coach or a career counselor people that will help you to address your problems and challenges on every level again we have legal issues financial issues social emotional and building your team I believe should be done around this breakdown that you have all these different phases of divorce let's find people that will help you with all these different issues so that was it that was the introduction to my course again welcome thank you for paying for this course that helps to build my business and build my practice now we will proceed to the lesson two and i'll see you very shortly bye for now